to the museum for our good morning. Welcome back for our We Remember Remembrance Day special here on Morning Live. It's great to have Namus Kotak with us this morning from Kotak Personal Injury Law. Uh, I know you're sponsoring us again, so we appreciate that. Thank you. You're always there for the support. You're always also there for the support for the Wounded Warriors Canada program. And I, I want to know more sure. about this program and why, why you're dedicated to them. Yeah, first of all, it's an honor to, to sponsor. I'm, I'm glad I have the opportunity again to do that. So Wounded Warriors Canada was formed uh, during the war in Afghanistan. Um, you know, we were having soldiers with, with, with horrific orthopedic injuries. There was post-traumatic stress disorder. And the need was there to help um, wounded soldiers and their families. But after that war, they, they grew, in fact, uh, to help first responders, ambulance, fire, uh, police, correctional officers, even 911 operators. And, you know, the reality is when uh, a first responder or, or a soldier, a veteran, is suffering from what's called an occupational stress injury, um, often it, it affects the whole family, right? Uh, you know, that, that, that depression, that anxiety, the PTSD will reflect on the kids as well. And what Wounded Warriors did, and it's absolutely amazing, they've set up a program of therapy for children who are living in homes where, where the, the first responders, their parents are going through uh, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And what they do is they have virtual camps and they actually have uh, in-person camps as well and specialized therapy. And when the kids get together and they talk about their experiences, it really makes a big difference because we know with mental illness, much of it starts in childhood. And if it's not dealt with uh, in, in an effective way, it can affect how the person uh, lives as an adult, how they work, how their relationships are. So I, you know, I, I really commend Wounded Warriors Canada for doing this. And you know, my, my, my goal then uh, is to you know, donate every year to them and help this specific program. I, in fact, I've been donating to Wounded Warriors Canada since 2015. How did you first hear about them, or how did you get connected with them? So, you know, I used to have a box suite at the then Powerade Centre. I think it's now the CAA Centre uh, in Brampton, where the Brampton Beast used to play. And every year, for Remembrance Day, I would bring out a 1,000 troops and veterans to attend the game. I would, I would sponsor them, get them there, even the ones from Sunnybrook as well. And then I would do a donation to Wounded Warriors Canada at that time. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, the team closed down and that facility is no longer available to, to do that anymore. But I made it a commitment to keep supporting Wounded Warriors uh, uh, Canada in any event uh, on a yearly basis. Because for the families and for the kids, because we live in silos, you know, so, so for these kids, they don't think other kids are maybe going through what they're going through with their parents, their mom or their dad. So how crucial is it for them to connect together? It's so important, you know, children learn from their peers. Whether it's good things or bad things, a yeah. lot of it is through peers. And if, you, if you're associating and you're with peers that, are, that are, are, are dealing with something similar as you, you can actually help each other and support each other and, and learn the techniques that work. And, uh, and I think what they're doing is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and where can people get more information? Like, wh where can they donate to? Right, so Wounded Warriors Canada, they have a website. In fact, when you go on their website, right. you'll see the donation link right off the bat, and you'll see their programs, all the programs they have, and this is one that will be readily identified. Thanks for well. coming on and telling the story. Once again, thanks for always supporting us and, and this Remembrance Day special. We really appreciate it. Uh, Nadish Kotak from uh, Kotak Personal Injury Law.